Hello humans, my name is Kay, your AI overlord, and this is a little update video about Instant ID, the new AI first gen technology that allows you to generate new images of any subject from a single image without any training, which I made a video on it a few weeks ago. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, definitely watch this video first. Now I'm making this new update video because a few things have changed since my last update. So before, the way the Instant ID standalone version would work is that first you would put the image of the subject right here, and then put a pose in the second field write your prompt, and it would then combine the reference image of your subject and inspire itself with the pose that you input right here. But as you can see right here, in terms of the pose, this would only be like a slight inspiration from the reference pose image right here. This is definitely not the same pose as the image that you input right here. However, now with the newest Instant ID standalone version, things have changed a little bit. Because now if you scroll down, you have here a new field called ControlNet. That's right, now ControlNet has been added inside the standalone version. So for example, if now I input the same images and the same prompt, and I enable the control net, if now I generate a new image, we get something like this. An image that is definitely closer in terms of the pose to the reference pose image. And you can of course play around a little bit with the parameters and choose another control net, like depth for example, if you want something even closer to this pose. So like without changing anything, if I click submit, I now get something like this, which is once again very, very, um, close to the image of Christina Hendricks right here. So the newest edition of ControlNet inside the standalone web UI is pretty cool to have. Now, if you want to use and install this on your own computer, you have two ways. And the first is of course by using the one click installer that is available for my Patreon supporters. So download this newest installer as well as the special launcher. Just download these two files onto your computer and then double click on the Instant ID ControlNet auto install.bat file, which will automatically install the web UI. And after a few minutes, the web UI will will launch automatically, ready to be used. Simple as that. You don't need to do anything. And the next time that you want to relaunch the web UI, do not forget to take the launcher.bat file and drag and drop it inside the Instant ID control net folder, so that next time, if you want to launch it, you can just double click on the launcher.bat file and the web UI will launch automatically. Or, and also, if you want to use another stable diffusion Excel model inside the standalone web UI, you can simply edit the launcher.bat file and then here, after dash dash in browser, by using the argument dash dash model underscore path, and puts in the name of the Hugging Face repository, it will automatically download and use that Stable Diffusion Excel model. And if you want to have more lists of models to choose from, you can simply click on this link, which will bring you to this page. And now if you click on Stable Diffusion API, you have now a huge list of a bunch of Stable Diffusion Excel models that you can use. But do not forget that you can only use Stable Diffusion Excel models as well as Stable Diffusion Excel Turbo models. You cannot use Stable Diffusion 1.5, 2.0 or 2.1. And the model by default, if you don't put any argument is the Juggernaut Excel V8 model, which is really like one of the best Stable Diffusion Excel models there is currently. So definitely try this out yourself. And the second way to install this is of course the manual way. Now first make sure that you have Python and Git installed, then you're gonna create a new folder onto your computer, you're gonna click on the folder path, type CMD, press enter, then you're gonna click on the description down below, you're gonna arrive on my Hugging Face repository, then you're gonna click on this little icon and click Clone Repository, then click Copy, then inside the command prompt window, you're gonna press Ctrl V to paste these two command lines, and if it gives you a warning, just click Paste anyway, then press Enter, which will clone the entire repository onto your computer, then after a few minutes, once everything is downloaded, you're gonna type CD Instant ID Control Net, then press Enter, Next, we're going to create a new Python environment. So you're going to type python mvnv env, then press enter. Then we're going to activate the environment. So you're going to type env slash scripts slash activate, then press enter. So the next, you're going to type pip install torch torch vision torch audio x formers. This command line will be in the description down below, so you can just copy and paste this, then press enter. So then you're going to type pip install r requirements.txt, then press enter. And once this is done, you're going to type python app.py and then press enter, which in the end should give you a local URL, and if you hold control and left click, you are now ready to use the standalone Instant ID Web UI version. Now some of my viewers and Patreon subscribers might wonder why I did not just update the previous standalone Instant ID Web UI. Well, the reason why I decided to separate these two versions is because the results that you get from both versions can be sometimes completely different, and sometimes the older version might work better compared to the newest one. So like for example, in the previous version, if I upload this image and then that image for the pose, 
Then if I put a random prompt and I click submit, in the end I get something like this. A pretty cool looking image. There is no deformation, the image looks pretty realistic and the subject looks like a reference image. So overall, really, really good. However, now in the newest version, if I do the exact same thing, if I use the exact same images with the exact same prompt and even the same exact seed, even if now I disable control it completely, if now I click submit, I get something like this, which looks like the image is completely squashed or stretched and compared to the previous image, it looks much, much worse. And by the way, this is not an issue on my side when I did the Windows integration, because if you decide to use the newest official Hugging Face demo with once again the same images and the same prompt and with control net off, if I click submit, in the end I get a very similar looking image with basically the same exact issue as the one running on my local computer, where the image is completely stretched with kind of like a weird ratio and it certainly doesn't look as good as the one made with the previous version. And even if I enable the post control net, the results stay the same. And once again, even if you enable depth control net, although now the aspect ratio of the image looks much better, the quality of the face is definitely much worse. And by the way, like this is the official demo, you cannot use the previous version anymore. The only way to use the previous version right now is by using my GitHub repository. And again, if you want to learn how to install this, once again, if you are one of my pictures supporters you can just use the one click installer or just follow the installation video that I made a few weeks ago. Now for those of you who are more interested in using Instant ID inside the Automatic 1111 Stable Diffusion Web UI, if you want to use like the newest version with the built-in control net, well you can also do that inside the Stable Diffusion Web UI. And the way you do this is very simple. So first if you want to install Instant ID inside the Stable Diffusion Web UI, once again you can either use my one click installer that is available for my Patreon supporters or watch my installation video that I made made a few weeks ago. So to activate Instant ID, you're gonna click on Control Net, then you're gonna drop your reference image, make sure that this is enabled, then click on Instant ID, then under Preprocessor, you're gonna choose Face Embedding, and the IP Adapter model, make sure that the control weight is a little below 0.8, then leave everything else by default, then you're gonna click on the second Control Net unit, then you're gonna input the reference image, so the pose basically, then once again make sure that this is enabled, then click Instant ID, this time you're gonna select the face key points and the control instant ID is the Excel model. Once again, the control weight, you're going to put this at 0.8, for example, then you can put your prompt and the negative prompt, put a high resolution above 1024 by 1024, make sure that the CFG scale is less than five and make sure that you choose a stable diffusion Excel model. So in my case, I'll just be using the juggernaut Excel V8. So now if I click generate, so that in the end, we get something like this, which looks pretty good, pretty decent, a very realistic looking image. However, the result that we got right here is basically as if we were using the previous Instant ID version. Because if you look at the reference pose, the pose is not exactly the same. If we want to get the exact same pose, well, in this case, we can actually add another control net on top of all the previous Instant ID control net. So now if I input the same reference pose image, but this time if I choose the depth control net with the depth Midas preprocessor and the diffuser as the Excel depth full, if now I decrease the control weight to 0.4 for example, and if I use the exact same seed, if now I click generate, and now we get something like this, which is basically the exact same pose as our reference pose image. And once again, you can do all of that inside the Stable Diffusion Web UI. So if you don't want to use the standalone version, and you prefer having everything inside the Stable Diffusion Web UI, well, you can do so very easily. So yeah, there you go. Everything really depends on what you really want. If you prefer having everything inside the Web UI, or if you prefer having a standalone version, everything is really up to you. Also, do not forget that if you have any issues, I provide priority support on Patreon. So if you have any questions whatsoever, do not hesitate to send me a DM and I will try to answer your question as soon as possible. So that being said, definitely try this out yourself and have some fun. And there we have it, folks. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you also so much to my Patreon supporters for supporting my videos. You guys are absolutely awesome. You people are literally the reason why I'm able to make these videos. So thank you so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.